Hey guys, this is Krishna Anwar and the founder of Rank Atom. This video is going to be a quick demo of what we have built till now at Rank Atom so that you can take this as a reference and start using it for your own purpose. So let's start with the settings first. You can add your own domain over here and your custom weak spots. Let's say for this demo's purpose, uh, we go with YouTube as our weak spot. You can add it over here. And if you switch on the keyword golden ratio, it is going to consume one extra credit per keyword. Now let's do some keyword research. For keyword research, let's say we go with something really broad. Let's say SATS growth is going to be our keyword, seed keyword that we are going to go with. Select whatever country that you're targeting and whatever language that you're going to go with for your targeting. Once you're done with that, Click on find keywords. Now what this will do is, it's going to start generating keywords from the search. Now once this is done, it will show you a check mark. Now click on this. It will show you what all keyword it has generated for you. You can select whatever keyword that you want to analyze one by one or else you can follow my way. What I go with is uh, select all and click analyze. By the way, it is going to show you how much credit it is going to consume. I'll click on analyze now. You can play around with the filters depending on the strategies that you're going with, the number word, number of words, etc. If you want to go with long tail keywords, you can go with five to six words minimum, something like that. Well, you can play around with this. This is really easy. Now, if you can see, the number of keywords is increasing. The reason behind that is, is adding PAA keywords that it is fetching from the analysis to the entire corpus. So that uh, your keyword ideas keep on increasing. So once you have uh, analyzed all the keywords, click on SERP analysis at the top so that we get to sort this entire list in descending order of uh, number of weak spots to check what all weak spot it has found. Click on the breadcrumb and it is going to show you all the weak spots that are coming. And over here, you can use this parameter for your Google ad purposes. And if, if you click on people also asked, it is going to give you what all results it has found. And it is adding these results to the entire corpus as well. You can also see if any ads are running. And once this is done, go to clusters, click on generate clusters. So what clustering does is it groups keywords based on search results. Right now it has found you clusters over here. So the reason behind clustering is if you are going to uh, target one keyword, most of the time you'll be targeting a small volume, combining these keywords and mixing them in your content it is going to increase the volume that you're going to target. And yeah, that's the entire thing about keyword research. Now let's jump into rank tracking. It is really simple. It is used to track your performance of a keyword that you research. Let's say for this demo's purpose, we go with rank atom or rank atom. Let's say I'll go with daily. You can choose the language and country, again, depending on whatever strategy that you're going with. And click on track keywords. It is going to take some time and it is going to get the results. So it is going to crawl the top 10 pages on the search and it is going to give you the top 100 results. And it will tell you where you're standing. Okay, now once this has been analyzed, uh, click on this. And it is going to show you your rank. You are ranking in the top 100. And it is also going to show you the top 100 results. So yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. Peace.